Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you how to create a hi-hat. Um, to do a hi-hat, it's relatively simple, but um, as with any drums or any other kind of synth creation, it, it can get very complex and it can be a deep black hole that you keep going down. But to keep things simple, let's uh, create a simple open and closed hi-hat. For this, I'm going to start off with a Thor, and um, you'll see the reasoning why I'm going to use a Thor in a minute. Uh, but first let's get the, the basic hi-hat sound down first. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the oscillator. I'm going to change that to an FM pair. I'm going to change this to 3. I'm going to move the FM amount up. I'm going to change this to a state variable in the first filter slot. Change it to HP. You can also, you can already kind of hear that tinny kind of sound that you want to have. Now, for the filter envelope and the amp envelope, it's a lot like many of the other drums that you create. You're going to bring down the sustain all the way. Um, the release and decay are down pretty low. And you're just going to raise that um, decay and release just a little bit. Okay, now you might want to increase the drive a little bit. Okay, so there you have the closed hi-hat sound quite easily. Um, that's what I would call that sound right there. Now, um, the reason why I'm using a Thor is because Thor can do something that um, the other synths really can't. You can have two different states. You can create your open and closed hi-hat and we'll create it on the button here. So um, right now, this is closed and we're gonna create the open hi-hat. To create an open hi-hat, what I'm first going to do is bring this balance down all the way. So right now you're just hearing number one, or oscillator number one. We're going to add in a noise oscillator. I'm going to send it to through the second filter, and then back out to the gain again. And for this, I'm going to use another state variable filter. This time I'm going to set it to notch, push it up to HP all the way. Okay, I'm also going to choose the static mode, and I'm going to increase the noise oscillator here. Now when you hear it balanced out with the first oscillator, now you're hearing a mix of both, you can really hear how that um, noise is oscillator sounds. Also going to increase the drive. Okay, and that is going to be the noise that I need. Now, what I'm going to do on the modulator, on the mod matrix, I'm going to tie everything to button 1. So let's uh, create three instances of button 1. Okay, and the first instance, I'm going to go, the amount is going to be about 50 or so. Destination is going to be the... Um, amp envelope and it's going to be the decay and the second one's going to be the same thing about 50 it's going to be the amp envelope and it's going to be release and the third one is going to be um, button one is going to be about uh, 72 and this is going to be the mixer the oscillator one to two balance and that's this knob right here since it's in the zero position right now and since this is off you're going to hear only oscillator one going through this filter and out to the gain. You're not going to hear this oscillator two going through this filter. Okay, and the reason why is because your mixer is all the way down at zero. As soon as you turn it on, all of a sudden now you're hearing it's sounding a little bit more open. Okay, and that's because this decay and this release has been moved up. Now I'm going to just fine tune it just a little bit. I'm going to move this down just a little bit. Okay, that might be a little too high there. That sounds about right. Only now, 
you can't see this, but it's clipping. So what I'm going to do is just um, move the gain down a little. And probably move the drive down a little bit on both. Okay, probably a little bit more. The other thing you can do is you can put a um, you can put a um, limiter on the actual um, on the sound itself and then combine it. So that's another way you can do it by adding in a, um, a compressor and a uh, maximizer to limit it. But for right now, you've got your open hi hat, you've got your closed hi hat. And actually, the release is still just a little too high, so let's just bring that down. Okay, so that's how you create your open hi hat and your closed hi hat, and it's all on this button. And if you want to combine it, you can tie the button into a button on the actual combinator, and then you can start playing around with the parameters here. But I hope that gives you some ideas on how to create a hi hat using a Thor, and uh, you can have both states open and closed on the same button here. Um, once again, thanks for watching. I'm Rob at Reason101.net. Come by and have a listen sometime. Thanks a lot.